This is a soda stream. It uses a carbonator that is around one pound. I think it's 15 ounces and um, it costs around $20 to exchange it. What I would like to do is lower the average cost per liter of fizzy water and I'm going to replace that guy with that guy. So this is the 60 liter carbonator. This is a 20 pound CO2 um, tank, typically used for welding and for, I believe, well, if it's food grade, it's for, or if they even, such thing as food grade CO2, you can research that on your own, but anyways, um, you can use it for welding or you can use it for carbonating beverages or anything else. Um, I got this at my local welding supply place. Um, it was a couple bucks, wasn't that expensive. I just had to lease a tank and then get it filled. Um, I think it came in around maybe $80, something like that. And then just, you gotta pay to get it refilled. So I ordered a kit from the CO2 doctor and it came with this valve here um, that hooks, it's a CGA 320 valve, or I should say adapter for this thread right here. And it has a pressure gauge. Uh, it came with a nylon washer that goes in there and then you, you attach it there. So I'm gonna do that here in a second. The, I ordered an eight foot hose and it's a high pressure hose. It has a quick adapter that goes on to this part here. And then you take the carbonator off and then you replace it with the hose and that just threads in. It's as simple as that. So it's one hose that goes to this adapter, which then goes to that tank, and you're good to go. So I'm going to just assemble the rest of it, and then we'll try carbonating it, or carbonating with it. So the first thing I did was I tightened, oops, I tightened this on to the carbonator, and then I, I just tightened it with a little bit of a wrench, not too tight, because it is a plastic fitting up here. And then I, I took the back of the soda stream and I cut a hole and the thread the hose through to keep it nice and tidy. I filed the edges and sanded it so it wouldn't be rough. This comes with a quick coupler. And you have to make sure that's nice and tight. For any of you who have a compressor, you'd be quite familiar with this type of fitting. It's a quick release. So what you do is you tighten this on first onto the tank, the CGA320. That's a, this is that fitting, as I mentioned before. Wrench, it comes with this nylon washer. You put that in there. Then you screw it onto this. It's a regular thread. It's not backwards like a propane tank or anything like that. Right like that. Also when you, if you are do have one of these tanks, if you're switching over to something like this, be sure to mount it so, uh, tie it so it doesn't fall over and you knock off the valve because that's just not a good thing. Not too tight, but tight enough, snug. Okay, so that's that guy there. We're gonna connect this guy up. Right like that. Make sure this is on nice and tight because you don't, when you open the CO2, if this isn't on tight, this will fly could flick off and fly around apparently, according to some of the reviews I've read. So again, I got this hose from CO2Doctor.com. Um, really, really um, 
great rates for shipping, very reasonable. Although this hose did cost me a bit. It was about 120 and I think this was the eight foot with the gauge. You can get it without the gauge as well. So now I'm just gonna slowly open this and see what happens. Just get my light here. Okay, that's a good sign, no leaks. We got how many PSI? 1,000 PSI, and that depends on the ambient air temperature too. That will fluctuate apparently. Today it's quite warm here. It's about 28 degrees for a change. Um, so <clears throat> we're good to go. The pressure's holding, no leaks that I can hear. Let's try carbonating something. Here we are, it works. Nice and fizzy. All right, initial impressions, it works great. So um, we'll see how long a 20 pound tank will last me. I go through about one canister, or we go through one canister, one of these carbonators a month at $20 a pop. Um, I should get pretty good savings on, on this guy here. Um, this is 20 pounds, I believe, and uh, it cost me, well, around 80, I believe. It was 80 or 80 or 90. <clears throat> so if you do the math, it's definitely way, way, way cheaper. So anyways, that's my review of the CO2 Doctor uh, hose, or overview. It may not even be a review. This is just kind of an initial setup just to see how it would work. And uh, so far, looks like it works. We'll see how it works in the long run. Okay, thanks for watching.